Okay, for those of you running Google Calendar, and for those of you also running Outlook 2010, excuse me, uh, which I'm running here, and what's worse, you're also running, and I'm going to prove to you that I'm running it, uh, bring up my properties here, that you're running Windows 7, and you're running in 64-bit mode, you know that you have a problem, because when you go to download and install the Google Calendar Sync, it will tell you that it does not support 64-bit mode. Well, I'm here to tell you it does, and it works beautifully. And I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to show you that it works. And I'm going to tell you, save your money. I know that there are a lot of you out there that have Android phones, and those Android phones don't sync the calendars well, and the contacts well, and all that kind of stuff well with Outlook. And I can tell you that that's ridiculous. You don't need to worry about it. It works fine. So save your money. I'm not saying anything bad about the programs. Those people are great. They do a great job, but I'm just telling you, if you don't want to spend the money, you don't need to, and I'm going to prove to you that you don't. So in order to prove to you that you don't, here is my Outlook calendar, and here is my Google calendar. And you can see there's an item that's here on the 31st on both items, both calendars, and I'm going to refresh this just so you know I'm not doing anything funny. Uh, there's the 31st item, and here's the 31st item. Let's say that I go from Outlook, I want to change it and go, nah, you know what, I really wanted that on the 30th. Well, if I go back to Google Calendar, you'll see that, well, it didn't move, and it's not going to move. So what I need to do is run Google Calendar Sync. And I know you're not seeing the full little tab there, but rest assured it says that it's it synced itself a few minutes ago, and it's actually about to in a couple minutes. But... Uh, I tried to give you a better resolution by shrinking the screen capture down a little bit. So what you can do is you can force it to sync, and then I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to refresh, and you'll see, boom, this jumps over to the 30th. But does that really work both directions? Well, you know what? Let's go over to Window, or excuse me, Outlook 2010, and you can see that item is still there. But let's say that, you know what? I really didn't want that to be there. I did want it to be on the 31st. I was right the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to the 31st, and I'm going to save that, and it'll say your event was updated. Let's jump back over here to the Outlook program, and of course it hasn't changed because we haven't had a sync. So I'm going to sync it, and watch right here. I'm going to sync it. Boom. It jumps over to the 31st. So you can see it works both directions. So now you're going to say, well, how do you do it? Well, I'll tell you. In Windows 7, every time that you install a program, it gives you the ability to set some parameters for the properties. And one of those parameters here, and here's the calendar sync properties tab or uh, window, here's a tab called compatibility. Now I'm going to preface this with something. Normally it looks like this, and I'm going to warn you, don't run this as an administrator or mess around with a bunch of these other values if you don't know what you're doing. If you run this as an administrator, it will run as an administrator all the time. So don't do that unless you know for sure that that's what you want it to do. Otherwise, you're going to give elevated uh, privileges to your software that you may not want to. So all you have to do to change this is to click on this little box. And I scroll all the way down to the bottom because Windows Vista Service Pack 2 was the latest version prior to Windows 7. And now if I click OK, the next time I run this software, and I've already had this software set for this, but if you're setting this for the first time in, in some piece of software, uh, the next time you run it, it will run in compatibility mode. So again, if you've got a program running and you've changed compatibility modes, you're going to have to stop it and restart it in order to make that work. So that's how it works, folks. Works beautifully. It uh, changes everything fine, and it syncs perfectly. And in the uh, little settings here, uh, if you go into options, you can actually set it. Here's my options. You can set it to work. I've got it set for every 10 minutes. You can even set it one way or two way. But uh, bottom line is it uh, will work perfectly here for you without spending a dime. So if you have any questions, any problems, any concerns, feel free to jump on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, send a message out and we'll try to help you out, okay?